James Kaufman, World News Report today. In breaking news, we've just had an M1.15 solar flare. It seems like it came from two different sunspots we'll take a look at, both unnamed coming around the limb to show their faces. Again, this just occurred. It looks like this peaked about 4.40 UTC time, or around 11.40 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. Now, it's been well over a week since we've seen an M-class solar flare of any kind that made this worthy of being reported, an M1.15 or something real close to that. Now, we're going to take a look at this 430 anomaly. So, y'all stick around. It's every 12 hours to the moment. It must be goes making its flip is all I can figure. I just don't know what's lighting it up. As you can see, this is where our flare comes from. And it looks like we have a sympathetic flare coming from this sunspot here. Both of them are currently unnamed. You can see... Most definitely the M1.15 and the one in the north in a sympathetic solar flare at the exact same time, which actually looked like it released plasma. Um, and it's hard to tell what produced what again at the same time. Two brand new unnamed sunspots that we'll be dealing with all week. There's going to be a huge uptick in solar activity this week. Of course, I'll be the first one to call it out, go out on the limb, although it's really no limb for me, and tell you all this is going to be a week to remember. All right, here is that M1.15 over on our D region absorption prediction center. Not very strong, they always seem to happen as the sun is moving over that same spot on earth it is so wild uh, not as wild as what we're about to see what we're about to see i'm guessing must be a ghost flipping at 4 30 utc time every 12 hours now if that's something somebody out there who knows more about ghost 19 than i do please let me know obviously it's too well timed to be anything but man-made is my feeling on this unless the times start to change all right over it goes 19 core one one of our very best instruments here we have it at 5 15 utc time that's going to be 45 minutes after the movement of this whatever it is through the lens here and i want to say that it's situated right here right now we're going to see the full movement in 12 hours on this go-around. I wish I would have caught this a few minutes ago, but it's almost impossible to get them both. Well, two different cycles on well, one run, if you will. All right, so we caught that. And you can see this is going to be 530. You can see it in that corner more, and it just disappears really lit up that wouldn't be the sun i don't know what that would be the sun's covered so that the lens does not burn up now watch the timer down there when we get to 4 30 again you see it start to light up here that always occurs first right there and we're going to go into that and then that again now, what this looks like is 1450, something's coming out of this direction here. Uh, we're going to try to grab it. And... Well, as you can see, it really lights up. And it's going to be 445 UTC time. Uh, regularly, it goes from here moves to the center and our very next movement would be over to this corner here before it disappears and then core one goes back to what it regularly looks like which is this again i don't know what's happening here but 
the timing is just perfect as far as the 430 every 12 hours to the moment so i'm guessing this is a man-made flip if anyone knows more about this than i do please let me know uh, and if anyone could tell me why it brightens up like it's looking directly at the sun or a second sun so we can see the uh, our sun behind the lens cover here well i'd love to hear your explanation for what you think's going on with that said god bless please share and subscribe always remember guys anything's possible bizarro world